All rise. He's Jamal Spencer. And he's Mark Skoll Jr. Sports Court is in session. Welcome to another edition of Sports Court. This week we're talking college basketball. West Virginia head coach Bob Huggins recently resigned after a rather public DUI. So that got us to thinking who would be the next coach of the Mountaineers, which led to this week's question. Should John Beeline return to coaching? You may remember that John Beeline was the head coach for five seasons at West Virginia before he took the job at the University of Michigan. He had great success there too. I think it's time to come on back. Why not? I mean, it'd only be a stopgap type of opportunity. He's not gonna be there long-term. Everyone knows that. He's 70 years old. They love him there. He's respected there. He's a clean coach, which is what they need. I think John Beeline should come on home. I don't think you should go back to West Virginia. I think John Beeline is, has a home here in Michigan. He works for the Pistons now after that short stint with the Cleveland Cavaliers. It seems like Michigan is really the place for him. And a seven-year-old coach, I don't think you should go back in the coaching unless if it's a dream job scenario. The only way that happens is if he gets the job at Michigan again. Jawan Howard's been struggling recently. If Michigan has another bad season, I think Maybe then he returns to Michigan, but I think that's the only scenario if he does return to coaching tomorrow. That's interesting, Mark. I don't think he's coming back to Ann Arbor only because he wouldn't want to do that to Jawan Howard. Ultimately, I think that chapter is closed. The West Virginia opportunity would be a short-term thing. It's not long-term. Everyone knows he's not going there to rebuild the, the program to glory days. He's just there to keep the seat warm until they can hire a permanent guy. You're talking about a dude who won 63, 64% of his games with the Mountaineers. He led them to the Elite Eight, the Sweet 16, and he won the NIT with West Virginia. So they'd welcome him back immediately, if only for one maximum two years. And ultimately, I think that's okay because he can tell his family, listen, I'm only gonna be gone for a year. I'll be back, like you said, Mark, Michigan's home. Yeah, but I mean, why would you want to go all the way to West Virginia? You've been home in Michigan. I just don't think it really makes a whole lot of sense. And if you're West Virginia, why would you need a stopgap coach? Why can't you just get your coach of the future? Huggins was there for 16 seasons. You'd think you'd want to get another guy who's going to be there for a decade uh, to 20 years. I mean, I, that's what I would want if I was West Virginia. Why just hire a stopgap? I think it doesn't really make that much sense. All right, so what's your verdict? Jury at home, comment on Facebook, and next week we'll highlight our favorites. Last week we asked if the Lions held practice in West Michigan, then where should they go? Pat said LMCU Ballpark, Sandy said GVSU. We would love to see it, and we'd love to see you back here again next week. Until then, Sports Court is adjourned.